In this review, we have the Polar Pro mic kit, and this is for the GoPro. Um, it's used for the uh, Hero 2, 3, 3 Plus, and 4 GoPros. Um, this actually plugs directly into the uh, Hero 2 because it has a microphone jack, but for the Hero 3, 3 Plus, and Hero 4, you have to use the adapter that comes along with it. So this was about 50 bucks on Amazon. Um, so we're going to do a little unboxing here of it. Uh, this is what the box that it comes in. And we'll uh, open it up and see what we get inside. Uh, packaging is pretty light. Pretty much just comes in a little uh, plastic cartridge here. We'll pull this out. Uh, first of all, the directions looks like they come underneath it. Um, also has a couple other accessories that this Polar probably makes. Uh, so let's see. So first of all, uh, like I mentioned, you have this little adapter. And this adapter is a 3.5 millimeter jack. That's where you're going to plug in your microphone. And the adapter here is a uh, mini USB. And that's what plugs into the side of the Hero 3, 3 Plus, and uh, Hero 4 cameras. Okay, so there's the adapter. Um, they actually give you a lavalier microphone, which is just a wire microphone that you would uh, plug into your GoPro and you could use it for interviews and just kind of clip this onto your shirt. So that comes, that's kind of a bonus that they send in there with you. Um, in this package, I'm actually not sure because when I ordered this off of Amazon, it didn't mention anything about these little rubber, uh, what looks to be fillers. Uh, I would imagine that these are going to fit on some of the um, holes in the skeleton housing on the GoPro, maybe to keep it watertight. I know it's not going to make it waterproof because they make waterproof cases for that, but I would imagine this is just kind of a filler for that. Now, so they send a bunch of those. And finally, what we have is the Polar Pro microphone. And again, you can plug this directly into the um, GoPros and use the adapter. So we'll check this out. We're going to plug it in. We're going to do a couple indoor and outdoor video tests with that. Um, actually, I didn't see this, but in the box, must have got stuck in there. Looks like we have the uh, foam cover, and this would be to protect against wind uh, whenever you're outside. So this will just fit pretty much directly right onto this. You would just slot it into a little slot down here at the bottom, and should be able to take it outside. And hopefully that will stop some of the wind. So that's what it looks like with that one. So, again, we'll put this to use. We'll try it out with my Hero 2. Uh, and we'll see how it sounds. Okay, guys. First, we're going to do an outside test uh, on the Polar Pro mic for the GoPro. Uh, I have that right here. I'm standing about five feet away from the camera. And right now, I'm just using the GoPro skeleton housing um, with no external microphone at all. So the mic you're hearing right now is the mic that's actually inside the GoPro camera. Uh, it's not very windy today. It is, um, there's some background noise. You have my uh, wife and daughter right inside the house. Uh, there's a couple cars going up and down the street. But again, there's not much wind today. So um, what you're hearing is light winds. So what I'm going to do now is, first of all, we're going to plug in the camera without the actual wind housing on it. So this is just going to be the camera plugged directly into the microphone. So right now, uh, this is the same distance that I was talking earlier, and again, I still have the, um, the actual housing for the uh, speaker right here, not the housing, but the um, wind cover for that. So what I'll do, I'm going to keep talking, my daughter's coming out the gate, that's that squeaky sound, so maybe you can hear that. Uh, my dog is outside, you can possibly hear that. This is all coming from the Polo Pro speaker. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to install and put on the wind housing. Hey, come here, bud. All right, so the wind housing it on. Let's see if it makes any difference. Okay, so right now, same distance again. Right now, I'm going to be standing just about five feet. I do have the wind housing on there. Again, there's not much of a breeze, but it does the, uh, the purpose. So, um, 
I'm going to actually move back to about 10 feet and see if you can hear me. So right now, I'm at about 10 feet. Uh, this is using the microphone. So right now, the Polo Pro mic is in the GoPro, and I'd say I'm a good 10 feet away. So I'm going to walk a little bit closer. Uh, maybe I'll walk off even to a couple of the sides of the camera, see if that's going to help. Can you pick me up over here? Uh, hopefully you can. Like I said, I'm sure I'm in the view of the camera, but the uh, big difference is, can you hear me? Okay, so the microphone isn't working. Uh, now I'm just starting to ramble because I'm running out of things to say. But this is about five feet. So uh, next, what I'm going to do, uh, my plan, this is about two feet, by the way. My plan is to actually use this camera while I'm fishing on my boat. Uh, the camera's going to be mounted in the back of the boat. And my thoughts were, if I buy this little extension cable that you see I have hanging here, I'm going to actually move the microphone up to where the windshield of the boat is because that's mainly where we're going to be fishing from. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to take the microphone out and use the extension cable that I bought along with this to see if it makes a difference. Okay, so hopefully that's done. I mean, I was moving the camera around a little bit, but again, right now I'm standing at about 10 feet away. I moved the mic closer to me. Uh, and I just have it on a closed pin right now. Hopefully it's going to stay up. But again, I still left the wind housing on it, so it's going to stop the wind. But right now I'm away from the camera. So I'm going to try to move around a little bit, keeping the camera at this distance, and, or keeping the microphone at this distance away from me to see if you can hear me. So if I'm in the, the boat and I'm in the front of the boat and I'm fishing over here, hopefully you're able to hear me talking as you're watching me on the camera. So again, you can see the distance now how far I'm away from the actual microphone. So I'm hoping this is picking me up clearly. Um, when I'm coming and I'm showing you a nice big fish in the camera, I'm going to have to try to remember to keep myself talking this direction so that hopefully I can show you the fish and you can hear uh, what I'm saying. One test that I didn't do right now, as you can probably hear, I actually do not have the external mic plugged into the GoPro camera. I want to have a comparison from talking to the camera at a distance. So I'm going to back myself up. Again, this is where I started the video at about 5 feet. So now, uh, with a slight breeze blowing, I'm going to go back to about 10 feet and see if you can hear me with just the GoPro speakers, which are the internal speakers on here. So hopefully you can hear me talking. Uh, say hi, Mia. Hi. Hi. It is slippery. I think you took the one to the pool before you fall down. Okay, she's good. We're now going to do the inside test for the Polar Pro mic for the GoPro. Uh, I have it right here. I still have the housing or the wind sound or the wind sock on top of it because I was just outside with that. Uh, right now, I'm only using the GoPro internal speakers. This is the GoPro Hero 2 version. So right now, I'm going to remove this because I'm not going to need the wind sock out or while I'm inside. But uh, I'm going to move myself back and talk from about a distance of, let's say this is a good maybe seven feet. Uh, you're going to hear the normal sounds of the house along with this. So what we'll do now is we're going to plug this in. And first we're going to plug it directly into the camera. Uh, we're going to give it a couple of seconds. Um, I've actually read something online that said that that mic will actually take sometimes five seconds, or any mic, I should say, into the Hero 2 because it should take the Hero 2 maybe five seconds. I don't know if that's true or if that's just something that uh, someone you know else had an experience with but right now we should be hearing the audio from the actual mic through the GoPro so again I'm gonna move myself back and I'm gonna talk from about this distance so right now my wife is running the water there's a TV in the other room uh, that you might be able to hear um, other than that you know at this distance I think that that mic hopefully will be able to pick up my voice pretty good so what I'm going to do now is I'm also going to try running the extension cable inside. Uh, you might have heard a little bit of crackling. That's probably just me putting in the camera, and, and now that I have it settled, it should be picking up pretty clear audio. So hopefully, again, we should be getting good audio. The mount right now I still have. It's probably about three feet, four feet from me. Uh, this way I'm away from the camera even farther, and hopefully you can still hear me pretty clearly. All right. Um, so... We're going to put this video onto the computer, I'm going to try to listen to the sound, and I'm going to finish up and let you know what I think about the product. Alright guys, I'm going to summarize uh, after listening to the audio files in my tracks that I recorded. Um, first of all, the pros with this product. Uh, it's light, um, it's easy to connect to the GoPro. Uh, I like that, so if you're wearing the GoPro or if you're carrying the GoPro around, um, it's easy to stay on there and it's going to stay on there. It's, it's nice and light and small. Um, it does make the sound a little bit more clear. 
Uh, maybe that's just because I'm using an older GoPro model. I'm still using the Hero 2. I'm sure with the newer GoPro models, their sound quality from their internal mic is going to be a little bit better than this one. So their clarity was better when using this product. Uh, another nice thing about this is that you don't have to buy batteries for it. It's just going to be using the power as it plugs into the GoPro. Uh, that also can be a con, however, because it is going to make your GoPro battery drain a little bit more quickly. Uh, now I want to go over the cons. Very, very low sound recording. You know, I could barely hear myself. I think you can tell just from the test videos as well. Uh, you know, if I got further than three feet away from this microphone, you know, I had to turn my volume up all the way just so I'm able to hear myself. Um, it didn't pick up the external noise that I wanted to hear. I was hoping to hear some birds um, or just hear some of the sounds that are around my neighborhood. And uh, I should have been able to hear a lot more than I did. Even with playing around with the audio on my editing software, I tried turning the decibels all the way up and it just wasn't very clear. Um, one thing that I didn't uh, mention earlier and I didn't do a test of, but I've read a lot of things online and uh, even watched some YouTube videos, they mentioned that when you have the Wi-Fi turned on your GoPro, this will actually, if, it's, if you're using this mic, it'll actually pick up and make some crackling noises and, it, and the sound, you know, doesn't sound very good when the Wi-Fi is turned on. So if you're using the GoPro app, if you're using the GoPro remote and you're trying to use this at the same time, then your audio is going to be all messed up. That's my review of the Polar Pro mic. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that it helped. You know, leave some comments uh, below if you have any questions or if you want to talk about something else uh, throughout the video or any other products. Take care and thanks again for watching.